Hello everyone, welcome back to the barn where we are capping off our trip through the Planet of the Apes trilogy with the final installment, War for the Planet of the Apes. Now, do I think that this was a climactic ending? Yes, I sure did, but was it a good movie? I'll say that it, it was alright. A few things diminished my enjoyment of this movie to less than the first two. First, the fact that the colonel didn't just kill Caesar right off the bat, it, it just really bugged me. It wouldn't have made that much of a difference, but his capture, though integral to his character arc, took way too much of the runtime and got less and less believable as time went on. Also, the escape was too easy and didn't have any sort of tension, I thought. Second, I was expecting something a little more tangibly climactic with the plot of this film. Yes, it was good to end on Caesar finally leading his people to a home of safety, and it was rather pointed to realize that that was his purpose all along, but aside from a line of dialogue here and there, I, I didn't pick up on the journey of the apes to a new home as one of much importance until the very end. That was my problem with this movie in general. More than its predecessors, things just happen, and they'll have a reason down the road, but they don't have a, a real evident reason uh, at the time. I, I was expecting more than just a sequence of events kind of plot. Even if the plot takes a step down, though, I, I think that the overall narrative remains true, even if the thematic elements aren't as clearly fleshed out as in the first two. There were interesting new ideas, the Novas, um, the donkeys, and other signs of, you know, the world shifting into something new, and there were really incredible new set pieces. The performances, visuals, and digital effects were just as good as always, and, and better, but Overall, the narrative punch was scattershot to me and had a weaker impact than the last two. Caesar stands out once again as the focal point, but he, he can't hold this movie entirely together. It's become too big for him, and maybe that's how it always had to be. The series outgrew its main character on purpose and ended at the parting of the ways, I suppose. But for me personally, it weakened the experience. And But... Maybe it made for a better outcome. Caesar's journey is the natural last step in his arc, but I was frustrated by the portrayal. It wasn't bad by any means, I just didn't feel connected like I had before. The old familiar characters were there, but it just didn't have the weight to me. I still love Maurice, he was even more kind, more loyal, and even more awesome, and he didn't die in the end. So they kept that streak up, but... All I can say is that this was a truly awe-inspiring ending and overall a satisfying one, but I suppose I, I wanted something just a bit more dynamic. I guess what we learned is leave humans alone and they'll kill each other. Run into the hills and be free. Okay then, I'll give this movie credit. It's, it's quite the achievement. I just didn't totally buy it. <laughs>